Hey, Shalom. First, I'd like to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakadash. Yahweh, the world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shah, the world ignorantly calls Jesus. I want to give the honor to the apostles of great mills, so who also is truth. I want to give a peace and blessings to the I can across the four corners of the earth, which is his truth and risk of their life to do so. It's going to be a quick video. Lord willing, the video is edifying. Lord willing, now you, I can get some from this video. I'm going to get a couple of precepts here in Colossians, the third chapter. Um, and whatever uh, precepts come to mind, I'll add on to it. And again, you know, Lord willing, this edifying to my, not only to myself, but to you, I came as well. Okay, this is Colossians 3. I'm going to jump back and forth from KJV. <laughs> To NIV, and we're going to get a couple definitions as well. Okay, it's Colossians three and one. It says, "If ye then be risen with Hamashiach, seek those things uh, which are above, where Hamashiach sitteth on the right hand of the Most High." Now, right, scriptures talk about lay your treasures up in heaven, where dust and mouth can't corrupt, nor with these can break them with steel. Scriptures talk about as in heaven, um, you know, uh, as it is in heaven, you know, same thing on earth, but. We have to wait till we get the kingdom. Okay. We have to wait till we get the kingdom. And when I read further, it'll kind of, you know, go into it. Because this current world right now is not ours. Even how I said, if this world was mine, my men would fight. You know? But it's not. Right now, the earth is given into the hands of the wicked. Job 9 to 24. Right? And the wicked is Esau. And his counterparts, those who are confederate with him, are the heathen. Okay? It says, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. Scripture said, the fashion of this world shall pass away. Okay. So what, what manner of men should we be? Right. Scriptures also say, follow not the multitude to do evil. Okay. It says, for ye are dead and your life is hid with a Mashiach and the Most High. Yeah. Right. Where we're, the world is. So we're enemies to the world, man. Okay. It says what? The Lord, if you are of the world, the world will love his own. World love own. Right here, this is John 15. I saw that 16. It says, Ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye shall go and bring forth fruit, and that your fruit shall be remain, shall, shall remain so like. And this that's the importance of teaching and preaching as well. Okay, it says that whatsoever ye shall ask of the Father in my name, he may give it to you. Jump down to 18, it says, if the world hate you, you know that it hated me before it hated you. A lot of people talk about, oh, the Lord this, the Lord that, the Lord this. But if the Lord was here, right, you people would hate him. You people would hate him because you people hate truth. Okay. 19, it says, if you were just like back then. Okay. Same spirits, man, back today. All right. Scriptures even say, you know, the Lord is going to see who, who pierced them. Okay. It says, if ye were of the world, the world will love its own. But because ye are not of the world, but I have chosen you out of the world, therefore the world hated you. And key thing is in that is not only did you know that the world hated us, but the Lord chooses you. Just like it says here in 16, you don't choose the Lord. All right. Those people who try to choose the Lord end up in church and all that. And, you know, the Lord chooses who he wants, man. OK. The Lord chooses who he wants. OK. Who's ordained, which is the elect, because they were ordained from the beginning. Okay. So it's like it, you know, it, it was already, the elect was already predestined. So that's right now who the Lord is choosing. Okay. Scriptures say many are called, but few are chosen. Okay. So the elect is predestined. So this is uh, Colossians 3 and, um, Back in two, it says, set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For you are dead and your life is hid with Hamashiach and the Most High. For when he, Hamashiach, who is our life, shall appear, then shall ye also appear with him in glory. Yeah, being joint heirs with him, Lord willing, I be one of those men. Lord willing, you sincere, I can be one of those men, right? Being joint heirs. And that's the importance of getting it now, right? Right, uh, right now while we're in the grace period, man, because in that day you're gonna, it's a, it's a saying in the world. It says, in a day of battle, no one wishes that they would have practiced less. Okay, so in that time, you're not gonna wish you would have did one less video. You're not gonna wish you would have did one less study session. Right? You, you're not gonna wish that you didn't go on the highways and byways. Right? So what about those people who didn't do either of those things? Come on, man. 
right? It says, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, that's like a, yeah, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Now, let's get this. Let's get a couple of these definitions. It says, Mortify, let's get that. Mortify says, To make dead, to put to death, slay, worn out of an impotent old man to deprive of power, destroy the strength of, right? So, really destroying the strength of the old man. Okay? Because the old man had these traits, right? It says, it says, um, fornication. Let's get fornication. It says, illicit sexual intercourse, adultery, fornication, homosexuality, lesbianism, intercourse with animals, ETC, sexual intercourse with close relatives, sexual intercourse with a divorced uh, man or woman, uh, uh, the worship of idols, of the defilement of idolatry as incurred by eating the sacrifices offered to idols. So, you know, basically, basically, uh, you know, basically uh, illicit sexual, uh, you know, perverse things. Okay? Fornication, homosexuality, lesbianism, intercourse with animals, sexual intercourse with close relatives, sexual intercourse with a divorce. It says make these, make these, these things dead. Make these things dead. Okay? Mortifying. Right? It says uncleanness, inordinate infection. Inordinate infection. It's like it says whatever befalls one, whether it be sad or joyous, uh, calamity, evil, affliction, a feeling which the mind suffers. An affliction of the mind, emotion, passion, passionate deed used by the Greeks in either good or bad sense. Bad sense to pray, passion, vile passions, vile passions. And affection, lust. Okay. It says, um, it says, yeah, inordinate affection, evil concupiscence. Let's get evil concupiscence. Says desire, craving, long desire for what is forbidden, lust, right? So that that lust demon, right? Evil concupiscence, how be evil. Okay, like just that 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 you know, like the brother made a video a minute uh, a minute ago, a couple years ago, maybe a year and a half ago, and he said, uh, you know, that dog with the pink thing out, <laughs> you know, or lusting, man, you know, you know, you see a, uh, you see a. Um, you know, you got men that see other men's women and will want that, right? Will want that, man. Okay, which is our which is a, a adultery. Okay, scriptures say that there's no uh, nothing wicked more wicked than the covetous man. Okay, it says uh, in covetousness. Let's get it. It says, greedy desire to have more, covetousness, avarice, all right? Avarice, I hope I'm saying that right. Okay, covetous practices, greediness, greed, being covetous, right? <laughs> Nothing more wicked than the covetous man, which is idolatry, okay? Idolatry, it says, the worship of false gods, idolatry of the verbal sacrificial feats, Held in honor of false gods, as worship of mammon, and the plural, plural devices springing from idolatry. Yeah, idolizing. Okay, it says um, which it says in covetousness, which is idolatry. Yeah, because this is what you're doing. Okay, it says for which the which for which things sake the wrath of the Most High cometh on the children of disobedience. Right, and scriptures say, you know, who sh who should not fear at his presence, man. Okay. It says, uh, in the which he also walked sometime when he lived in them. Yeah. Jake walked in these different things that had these different traits, right? But now knowing this and putting on a new man, these are the traits we have to put off. But now you also put off all these anger, wrath, 
Malice, right? Let's get these definitions. Anger, we know what that means. Wrath, passion, angry, heat, anger, forwith, boiling up, soon subsiding again, glow, adore, the wine of passion and flaming wine, which either drives a drink or mad or kills him with its strength, right? So it says heat, anger, right? Basically rage, okay? Right, which... What scripture said, anger was not made for man. Anger was not. Let me see if I can find that real quick. Made for, I think it's an apocrypha. Right. If I can't find it, I'm just continue, but. That's good. It says, Sirach 10 and 18, it says, Pride was not made for men, nor fears anger for them that are born of a woman. Okay. Okay, so let's go back. Let's get that word, uh, malice. And then you see men, right, that rage and end up so-called, you know, what they say in the world, crashing out, man. <laughs> right? You know, it says, uh, malign mal malignity, malice, ill will, desire to injure, wickedness, depravity, wickedness that is not ashamed to break laws, evil, trouble, yeah, malice. Right? It says, wickedness that is not ashamed to break laws. <laughs> man, naughtiness. Right? Which, you know, it says evil trouble, right? Which, you know, shows extreme pride too. It says wickedness that is not ashamed to break laws. You can't, Jake is like that, man. Right? Because scriptures say what? A wicked man find an excuse to do evil. Okay? But scriptures is telling us to put these things off. Okay? Blasphemy. Let's get that. It says slander, distraction, speech, injurious to another's good name. Impious and reproachful speech, injurious to divine majesty, blasphemy. Okay, evil speaking, railing. Okay, it says, um, filthy communication out of your mouth. It says, lie not one to another, seeing that ye have put off the old man with his deeds, because all these traits were traits of the old. Well, all these traits were traits of the old man. Okay, some brothers had all the traits, some brothers had a couple traits. You know, some brothers might have had one or two traits, but then again, it's still a part of the old man and we have to put it off. OK, it says and have put on the new man, which is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. The knowledge image. Right. The knowledge, law, sessions and commandments, the wisdom. Right. Following after Yahweh Shai, like Apostle Gabar made a video and he said, um, you know, what will Yahweh Shai do? Think about in that situation. What will Yahweh Shai do? OK. You know, and that's that's, um, you know, that's a good question to ask yourself. OK. We jump down to 12. It says, put on, therefore, as the elect of the most high, holy and beloved bowels of mercies, kindness, humbleness of mind, meekness. Let's get into a couple of these definitions. Right. Put on as the elect. These are the traits of the elect. Mercies. Right, let's get that. It says compassion, pity, mercy, blesses the merciful. Okay, it says bowels in which compassion resides, the heart of compassion, emotions, longings, uh, manifestations of pity, mercy. Okay. It says uh, love, bowels of mercy, kindness, humbleness of mind, which says the, the having a humble opinion of oneself. A deep sense of one's moral uh, littleness, modesty, humility, lowliness of mind, right? Not anti haughty, anti proud. Okay, humility, humbleness of mind, and hey, it's a good when you when you wake up in the morning. It's a good um, 
that's a good spirit to, to get into, man, is being humble, man. I, I've been saying that lately. That's the best spirit to work out of. That's the best. Like before you pray, prepare thyself and humble thyself down, man. Whatever you got to do to humble yourself. Like one thing you could do is, um, you know, just repeat what you're thankful for, which puts you in a state of gratitude. Okay. It says um, meekness and long suffering. Let's get that word for meekness. It says uh, gentleness, mild, uh, mildness, meekness. Okay, gentleness, humility. Okay, so these are all the traits we we supposed to be practicing and putting on, man. Okay, it says long suffering every day, I'm trying to perfect it. It says patience, endurance, uh, consist. Uh, Con constancy, steadfastness, perseverance, patience, forbearance, long suffering, slowness in avenging and wrong, uh, slowness in avenging wrongs. Right, long suffering, patient man. The Lord is long suffering. Okay. Right. That these are the traits we supposed to be putting on. Okay. It says, um, forbearing one another and forgiving one another. If any man. Have a quarrel against any, even as Hamashiach forgave you, so also do ye. Do ye? Yeah, let's get that word for quarrel. Right? It says, blame to have a complaint against anyone. Right? So let's run that back. It says, forbearing uh, one another and forgiving one another, if any man have a quarrel against any, even as Hamashiach forgave you, so also do ye. Yeah, scripture said, forgive your brother. You know, uh, uh, seven. If he offend you seven times, okay. It says, and above all things, put. And that's roughly paraphrasing the scripture. It says, and above all things, put on the charity, which is the uh, bond of perfectness. Let's get that word for charity. It says, affection, goodwill, love, benevolence, brotherly love, love, feast, charity, man. Okay, it says love, right? It says um, benevol or benevolence, especially pearl love feast. Yeah, so charity, man, dear love, being char having charity, man, right? And and when you when you had that, right, you got to be sincere to have that, man. Right back in the world, man, shit, niggas ain't niggas ain't niggas don't have charity in the world, man. Some of us didn't have charity in the world, right? But coming into this truth and being around brothers, like-minded brothers, right? It's it's great to give alms. It's great to give charity. It's great to be a brother, man, and rebuke any demons that hop on you, that make you want to go against a brother. Whether you and a brother might have had, you know, uh, at were at odds, right? Make make amends, man. Right? Make amends. Get over that shit. Right, get over the hump, and then boom, you win your brother, man. Okay, you win, you win your brother, right? But you know, brotherhood is 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 big, man. But these are the traits that you know we bounce off each other. These are the traits that we have put on as the uh, as the elect, and these are the traits of the elect and put off the old man, man, every day. Right, I'm talking to myself first and foremost, but we need to work doing this every day, man. Work on this every day. Okay. Okay. So with that, man, the Lord of the videos, edifying, lowly, I can got something from this video. I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Baha Shimi, Yahweh Shah, Baha Shimi, I want to tell you, brothers, keep pushing on to the next. Shalom.